Hey, Jesse France back with some more Before the Storm. Uh, last time we had a little heart to heart with Rachel Amber. Uh, fixed up the truck a little bit. And like we more or less ran away from home. Um, and I think right now we're just going to be it. looking at some of the stuff in here, see what Rachel brought us in this duffel bag. And I know Frank gave us a call and said he was coming here to talk to us. So uh, let's see what's going to happen next. All right, let's open the bag. Hopefully it's like food. A bag full of clothes. I mean, that works too. Yes, I need those. All right. Oh, so we can try <laughs> on the clothes. Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. So we got the tarot tower. Um, I always have trouble. Am I not able to switch? I know last time, like, there we go. Or the Rorsach Skull. So I can only choose those two. Alright, I think I'm going to go with this one. Cool. I always like the layered look. She got some clean clothes because I think she was still wearing the ones from last time. Okay, so exit. That'll work. Uh, okay, I've got a couple of texts. I'm at the junkyard now. Oh, oh, and Mikey. Steph says you're a nerd. Oh, I feel like I already read that last time. Anyway, I think it might just uh, reset itself. Uh,. Pop that up. Frank can wait. Okay. Cool. Uh, we're not turning on the music. Just gonna hang the tapestry because reasons. Kind of cool looking. Elephant. Bright. Okay, so I guess we've run out of things to do in here. Oh, nope. That's the same sign. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and go see what Frank wants. There's an RV. So I'm assuming that's him. <laughs> There's our tag we left on it. Oh, well. Hello? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Yeah. How strange. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. Hmm. So is this woman. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. Okay. I brought up his bow. Oh, joy, loading screens. This game has no shortage of them. Okay. <laughs> Dude! It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? What do you want that book? Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Okay. Yeah, this is real safe. I shouldn't be. Uh... Dude, I heard the bad news. Suspensions suck. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. Yeah, I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom's making me go to her book group. Oh man, that's not so bad. I'm depending on the books. For Frank. How low can I go? I mean, he's got a fairly nice setup in his little camper. Um, let's like look at his stuff first. I wanted to look in the cabinet. Come on. There we go. Beans. <laughs> oh. Bomb sauce. 
for the man who enjoys funny. Okay. Ah, the life is strange. Original. Long sauce. No, no, no. Come for the man who enjoys searing pain. Look at that's an insane amount of beans. Apparently, he really likes beans. Okay. We're gonna graffiti his grocery list. Let's do it. <laughs> Work. <laughs> Got it. Seriously, Marker has the longest life I've ever seen, ever. I can't use a highlighter in two chapters of a book without it running out. <laughs> Alright. Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? What do I do? Oh, that's why it smells like pee in there. Control yourself, please look deeper and see what you want. <laughs> oh, come on. Puppies just pee. That's not helping him at all. Like, don't scold him. <laughs> Obviously, give him better advice than that. Just say, well, Frank you know. must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. That's all for the dog? And what's he doing? Just eating beans? Okay, cool. Um. Part of a balanced breakfast. There is nothing wrong with cereal. Listen, I eat a lot of cereal. Alright, let's go in here, I guess. Is there a puppy in here? Please tell me there's a puppy in here. Yep. Hey there. Oh my goodness, it's, it's okay, so cute. Oh shit. Pompadour, get up here. Oh my god, look how cute. Pompadour. <laughs> the little killer. Oh. Elliot one. Uh, you wanna hang out? Tempest is gonna be awesome. Like awesomely bad, I mean it's gonna be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about suspension, okay? Dude, I'm fine. Yeah, I like back off, dude. Got it. You wanna hang out? We will see. Uh, where's the book? That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Okay, so it's 2010, I'm assuming. It's probably his drug book. Is this what I think it is? Ugh, shit. I'm in the red. You already knew that. Time Sorry, to dude. find out what Frank wants to discuss. Frank and his... $175. BFF. That's... adorable. Hmm. Anything else? A throne fit for... Frank. Someone's a messy eater. Eh, that's just a puppy for you. Uh, oh, Frank's knife. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. And wow. the pillow. That pillow is definitely dead. Looks like we got a bong over there. Anything else I can look at? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's move it on up then. I saw something else. Oh, I can take something? Don't mind if I do. Oh, Don't man. even fucking think about it. Fair yeah. Okay. I was like, I just wanted to see what it was. <laughs> okay. A betting slip. $1,200? Way out of my league. Yeah, sure. Alright. What do you want, Frank? Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. I it's like French. It. French for what? Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Yeah, like he's going to Oh, tell yeah, us. I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Fair enough. Command an answer. You know what? Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. We, we know this. Dude, I'm just curious. 
What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Uh, give me some credit. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. It's about the drugs, but our relationship sharing is constructive. People feel flattered when you give them inside info. If you want Can't happy good customers, so tell them all your secrets. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Uh, just hanging out. I'm, I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... Sounds good to me. You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Yeah, obviously. It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. Okay. Not trying to Thanks get you into any trouble. for telling me. Okay, we got a little bit more what information. We know her name is Sarah. She now? showed up just recently. Oh, man, oh, really? Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? How about you? We know where he got lost Did money from. you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. Yeah, and you're a drug dealer. I don't That's seem bad. To have much leverage <laughs> Let's with hot dog man. Like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Okay. Is Discuss this then. about the buck seventy-five? What? The money that I owe you? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait. That's good. Do you have it? I'll just say I'll get it to you later. Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should okay. be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Yeah. Drew North? Y yeah. He's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players Oxy eat it like candy. Coda? That's Oh smart, my god. I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? I mean, I do know what's going on with him. His dad lost his job and he doesn't know what to do. So we'll just say no. We never talk. No. I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. What? Can you handle that? Uh, <laughs> I know if I say what's in it for me, he's just gonna say you owe me one hundred seventy-five dollars. So I'll say that doesn't feel right. I I don't know. It it doesn't feel right to go through his room. Does it feel right that he stole a grand from me? I mean, from fair you enough. or from Damon? Same Both. difference. Well, it's not my problem. Idiot, you still owe me. So. If I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. Okay. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. That could help. Yeah. I'm still not comfortable sure. with it, but... I'll do it. <laughs> we are Chloe here, so... What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. This is true. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash, 
and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Alright, so... This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Gosh, these loading screens. Finally. Still a beautiful campus. Is it fall time? I can't really tell. Because I know she, they said she could reapply next fall, so it was just more like late fall of the year I think before I'd be back this or soon. spring. She walks like, I don't know. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry wet up concrete. and get into Back at school yet again, they've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here too, actually running an errand for my dealer. Oh, thanks. Ugh, yeah, for sure. Nobody wants to see Victoria chasing that costume. Okay, now we're talking about Sarah. Yeah, I mean, I can see your point. Okay. The doors. So we'll get back to that later. Let's what would around. I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. Probably not a I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. All right. So we're not sitting on the bench. I know that's exactly what it's going to do. Ooh, flyer, though. Just... Ugh. Hmm. I mean, that's cool, though. Alright. Uh, let's talk to Steph. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How is okay. my future looking? Bright and sunny. <laughs> Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, of course it does. Yeah. Because you have a crush on her. So what are you doing here? Uh, we'll just say seeing the Tempest. Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. Yeah. You get to see Hopefully a totally different to side it. of everyone, especially the guys. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Okay. Let's make her feel good about it. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban... There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh, I mean, that's Rachel's business, or maybe yours and Rachel's business, but if you feel comfortable telling me... Okay, so... You think we're together, she's single, I'm not sure. How about we just say I'm not sure, because we obviously see that Chloe likes her, and she is single, but let's just say I'm not really sure. I'm... 
Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... confusing. <sighs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> okay. So we talked to Steph. I don't think anybody else is out here. Um, what do we need? What, what does our thing say? Get, just get inside the dorms. So, that's the entrance. Anything else to look at here? Just... Ooh. Oh, can we talk to... Samuel? Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Yeah, we'll just say we're here for Rachel. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. It's a new voice actor. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or... Is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I would take it it's the latter, not the former. Oh, let's ask about Elliot. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen so we know him his last recently? Name now. Probably couldn't I figure only that out, see but... what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. What do I want to keep hidden? What do I want people to see? Fine, let's see what, what I and, want to keep hidden. Uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. We're not saying F you and we're not saying that's not true. It's probably true, so we're just going to keep quiet. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. All right, Drew. I'm uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. That's I've true. I've gotta go, man. Uh, it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Okay. So, I think this is... Nathan over here? Do we really want to talk? No, it's Evan. Okay. That's like it's... Bird. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. And we got a sprinkler. Blackwell Academy. Conserving Come water on. since... Never. Uh, let's talk to Evan. What are you doing here, smoke weed de bear? Sorry. You're not still upset about that, are you? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Well, you are. Damn straight. <laughs> wow. Evan looks... Really ridiculous. Just, we're not saying nothing. I don't want to mock him. Chloe? Uh-huh? I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You should have taken my petition seriously. <laughs> like anyone else did. Did you really expect people to care? 
People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Fair. Fair. I guess you were right. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Can we see that? I want to look at it. I want to see what she thinks of it. <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? Can we go anywhere else? Um, all right. So let's just um, let's try to go in the dormitory, I guess. Oh, there's a Tempest poster. Let's look at it. Rachel would have brought the house down. How can Wells be such an idiot? Yep. All right. Locked. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> Good job. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Oh man. Why don't I just swipe Samuel's keys? Okay, let's see if we can swipe. Does Evan have keys? I don't want to... Come on. There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity. As usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. <sighs> okay. So... I don't want to swipe. See? Oh. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Okay. So, what does our thing say? Get it? Okay, so it hasn't changed. Alright, so. He's looking at the sprinklers. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But not with Evan looking right at it. But Evan is right there. Okay. Can we speak to Evan? You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Ugh. Can we scare the bird? Okay, yeah. Uh. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Okay. So we came at it from the wrong direction. Time for a fresh start. We just look like a dick to him right now, which we kind of are being a dick to him. Here we go. Yeah, one more time. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. See, we helped. You're welcome. Okay. Oh man, it makes me feel like such an asswipe. Nobody else is looking. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Okay, so he's gonna turn it off. Okay. Man, I hate this. But it is what it is. Alright, come on. Run over there. Come on. 
Sorry, Samuel. Yeah, I definitely feel kind of like a... All right, B-I-T-C-H. Time to find Drew's room. All right, let's get in here. As bad as I hate to. No. No time like the present. Better hide the keys. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Uh... Didn't you just get suspended? I'm visiting a friend. Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. <laughs> Samuel said it was okay. I don't think he's a maintenance guy, not... Whatever. Um... Uh, for old time's sake. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. Alright, I'm just gonna say I'm going I'm inside. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. Oh, man. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Oh, man. Okay. What's my official business? Woman's business. Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know... Patrol. Is Wells doesn't you respect know you. Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a a rent a cop who needs a haircut. Ouch. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I thought we were friends too. I I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. Y oh, you did. Man. You stared right at them. I didn't want to have to choose that, oh, but shit. Oh, he did. Okay. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, <laughs> Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh. I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, so, okay, Frank. I'm at the junkyard now. How's it going? Have you found it yet? Chill, man. It's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay, I'm on it. Hurry up. Well, we're getting, gotta get inside the dorms first. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start recording the next one. But anyway, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Channel If you like this uh, episode, hit the like button. Leave a comment below if you want. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later. Bye.